Okay, introduction to solving equations. We want to treat an equal sign like we have two scales side by side. And everything on the left-hand side, meaning everything to the left-hand side of the equal sign, is equal to everything on the right-hand side, meaning everything on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So on the left scale, it says we have an x and a 1, and that's equal to 4 kilograms. And we know that on the right-hand side, we have four 1s, which means we have 4 kilograms. So I'm going to write that out, out of the mathematical equation. x plus 1 equals 4. On the left-hand side, we have an x and a 1, meaning x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have 4. So how can I figure out what x is? Well, I could simply cross off one of the ones from each side, and I can clearly see that x is now equal to 3. So in the equation, I'm simply going to minus 1 from both sides of the equation, simply taking 1 off from both sides. On the left-hand side, we have plus 1 minus 1, which is 0, cross it off, which means x equals, on the right-hand side, we have 4 minus 1, which is 3. x equals 3. Now does that make sense? Well, if x is 3, and I put it back on the scale, x is 3, therefore if 3 and 1 makes 4, and on the right-hand side we have 4, so check mark. So when we have equations like x plus 1 equals 4, we're simply going to perform the opposite operation to both sides. If I have a plus 1, I'm simply going to do minus 1 to both sides. The opposite operation, the opposite of plus is minus. So I'm going to minus 1 from both sides. I have a plus 1 minus 1, cross it off. x equals 4 minus 1 is 3. Circle our answer. We're always going to check our answer. Rewriting the question, x plus 1 equals 4, taking our x value of 3 and substituting it back into the equation with brackets. On the left-hand side, we have 3 plus 1 is 4, and on the right-hand side, we have 4. Notice I work on the left-hand side of the equation completely separate from working on the right-hand side of the equation, working down the page, keeping my equal sign in the same spot. 4 is equal to 4, therefore x equals 3, check mark. So performing the opposite operation to both sides. This next example, on the left-hand side, we have 2x, and that's equal to 8 kilograms. On the right-hand side, we have 8 singles, which is also equal to 8 kilograms. Therefore, we know that 2x is equal to 8. Now, how can I more simply see what x is? Well, like on the left-hand side, I can simply cross off an x, and that means that I have to cross off half of what I crossed off on the left, so I have to cross off half of what's on the right. Therefore, we can clearly now see that x is equal to 4. So, in order to do that, I'm simply going to take the equation 2x equals 8 and divide both sides by 2. On the left-hand side, we have 2 over 2, which is 1, cross it off. Then we have x equals 4 to 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Circle. As you can see back in the diagram, we took an x off from, both si from one side, we took a 4 off from the other, which means that we can clearly see that x equals 4, so we know that. Now I'm going to check my answer, 2x equals 8. And then I'm going to take my x value, substitute it back in with brackets, 2 open bracket, 4 close bracket equals 8. And now on the left-hand side, we have 2 times 2, excuse me, 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8, therefore 8 equals 8. Check mark. So, in all of the next sections, everyone gets so uptight about what to do, how to do it, when to do it. What we're doing is performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. If you see a plus sign, you're going to probably be doing minus. If you see a times, you're probably going to be doing divide. I say probably because it's only most of the time. So now we're going to look at each of these individual types of equations, all the different types of equations that we're going to see very carefully. So remember, when you have an equal sign, we have scales side by side. If you do something to one side, you do have to do that to the other.
and we're always going to be performing the opposite operation of what we see to get rid of that thing and more clearly see what we're looking for.